The following is from Spring 2010, Math 112, Department Final. In this video, I will do number 22, 23, 24, and 25. Number 23, 2. Find the best buy based on cost per unit. And basically, the, base buy, the best buy will be the cheaper cost per unit. Okay, now we have two brands here, brand A. The unit price will be, or unit cost, will be 30 ounces for $21.30. So it's $21.90, uh, I mean $21.90 for 30 ounces. Okay, and if I divide, let's see, let me do the division here. At $21.90 divided by 30. That's uh, 0 0.7 for 210. And then uh, 30 times 3 give me 90. So the unit price will be 0 0.73 dollars per ounce. That's for brand A. Now let's see what is the unit cost or unit price for brand B. The unit price will be uh, sixteen dollars eighty for twenty four ounces. Sixteen dollars eighty for uh, twenty four ounces. Okay, or twenty four ounces for sixteen dollars eighty. Now, then uh, this will be. Let's see. Let me do the division here. 16.80 divided by 24. 24 goes to 168 how many times? Hmm. Seven times. Right? 24 times 7 is 168. Right? And then I subtract, I get one more extra here. That will be that's the following. So this will be 0 0.70 dollars per ounce. Uh, which one is better by? Uh, then we say that uh, the cheaper one will be better by. Okay, so brand B is better, uh, but the answer is not B. If you answer B, it means uh, brand A is better. Okay, no. You want to say brand B is better. Brand B is the best buy. Brand B is the best buy. And therefore the answer is C. Okay? Because you want brand B. That's for number 22. Number 23. The distance from the downtown to downtown station to the last stop on a commuter railroad. Railroad line is 31.5 miles. The distance between stops is 3.5 miles. Once the train has left the downtown station after you leave downtown station how many stops are there okay, let's try to picture this so I come from downtown station going to uh, uh, a destination the distance is 31.5 miles right now it says that for every 3.5 miles it will stop 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 and so on and so forth until the last stop Okay, including that includes the last stop, right? The question is if this is 31.5 miles and for each one stop takes 3.5 miles, then how many stops are there? Okay, now of course the simplest thing you can do, which is not that simple, is actually count how many times 3.5 miles you can get 31.5. But if you think about that further, that's basically 31.5 miles divided by 3.5. Okay, so the number of stops the number of stops will be uh, 31.5 miles per 3.5 miles. Okay, 
Now to divide this, I have to uh, move the decimal point once to the right so that the divisor becomes a whole number and then you divide this, right? And you will see 35 times what gives me 315. Of course, it has to be a whole number. You won't say uh, maybe 7.5 stops. It just doesn't make sense, right? Okay, so you can try and we know for sure this is less than 10 times, right? And if you compute that, you will see that this is 9, which implies the answer is C. Okay, now that's for number 23. Number 24. Round the number to the place indicated. Number 24, round to the nearest hundred. 14.84848. The hundredth place value is the second decimal place from the decimal point to the right of the decimal point. Okay, now because the number to the right of that is five or greater than five, then the four will be rounded up and it becomes 14.85. Okay, therefore the answer is B. That's for number 24. Now let's take a look on number 25. Number 25, Emily must send two packages, one package weigh 18 and 2 ninths pound, and the other weighs 13 and 3 fifths pounds. Find the total weight of the two packages. I basically need to add 18, 2 over 9, plus 13, 3 over 5. Okay, now to add two mixed numbers, especially both of them positive, what you need first is LCD, right? And the LCD of 9 and 5 is 45, so plus 13 something over 45. Now then I will adjust the numerator, multiply by 5 here, multiply by 5 here, that will be 10. Here, multiply by 9, multiply by 9, I will get uh, 27. Then when I add them, uh, 18 plus 13 is 31, right? And then for the fractional part, when I add them, 10 plus 27 is 37 over 45. Okay, and uh, nothing to adjust further. This will be the final answer, and therefore the answer is part B. Like that. Okay, now that's for tone number 25, and this concludes the Spring 2010 Math 112 Department Final Review. Good luck with your tests and get prepared for the next class once you pass this class.